oh, it's nice to have my computer fully running again. Um, there are still some issues with my motherboard, and I'm not going to bore you with that. Anyway, I saw Barbie earlier tonight, and in actuality, I kind of enjoyed it. I actually give it like a 7.5 out of 10. And if I see it again, perhaps maybe the, the score will go up again. Maybe it'll be an 8. You know, I, I enjoyed it. For how absurd the dialogue was at times, the acting was good. The sets for the Barbie world were fantastic. The pacing was very fast at some points and very slow at other points. I thought it was a good balance. I laughed out loud at least five times, and it's hard to get me to laugh out loud at really much of anything. And, you know, I'll have a smile, I'll have a little, <laughs> you know, something like that. But just actually laughing out loud, yeah, I laughed out loud at least five times in this movie. Sometimes I'd laugh at something cringy, sometimes it was something stupid, sometimes it was just silly. It honestly surprised me that I had any reactions to it besides a smirk. I mean, I was expecting this movie to be just something horrible. I think the fake commercials had me laughing out loud the most. I, I love how absolutely absurd the movie is. It's stupid, it's silly, like I said, it's absurd, but that's exactly what made the movie so good. It makes me think about the movie The Fifth Element, as far as people's critiques of it. A lot of people really hated The Fifth Element because the plot wasn't very good. You know, the movie wasn't realistic at all. You know, there wasn't very much continuity. But it's still one of my, I'd, I'd put it, The Fifth Element as one of my top ten favorite movies. The over-the-top characters, the absurdity, the acting, and then the flow, I mean, made that movie just a really great movie to me. But when it comes to Barbie, you know, if you're so anti-woke that you can no longer enjoy hardly anything then I suppose this movie isn't for you. Yeah, if you're Ben Shapiro, yeah, sorry you don't enjoy anything anymore, and, and you want to spread that to the world. Congratulations, I suppose. In concept, Barbie actually has some similarities to Tron and NeverEnding Story, in the sense of there being different worlds that depend on each other that you can go back and forth between. But it's a comedy that revolves around Mattel products and cheap, cringy feminism. I couldn't really be that angry at the feminism because it was presented in such an absurd way. There are a few points in the movie where it's like a character that, that represents Anita Sarkeesian preaching to people at a few moments. But in the Barbie world, you know, that preaching achieves magic. It's actually quite amusing. Yes, the word patriarchy is probably mentioned about a dozen times. And at least half of those times, it made me smile a little bit, even if it's a cringy smile, you know. The way they used that word was so cliche that it was laughable. And why shouldn't we laugh at it? Is someone a bad person if they laugh at it instead of being outraged like a good little soldier? Again, this is truly one of the most absurd movies I've ever seen. And that's a good thing. Now, personally, I think when they wanted to represent Los Angeles, they should have pushed the issues of homeless encampments and needles and crime, but instead they pushed cringy feminist narratives. And it was so cringy that it made me smile. Something I really appreciated about the movie is that it didn't promote a matriarchy, even though it said bad things about patriarchy. Maybe this isn't seen initially, but by the end of the movie, you realize that it's saying that, yes, we do need a balance. The main thing that a lot of anti-woke people were really upset about was how it depicted men, particularly in the Barbie Mattel world. But why should fictional genitalless characters represent how men act in the real world? And sure, it made Mattel look like absolute buffoons. Comically. I mean, at least the all-male board of directors, anyway. But I don't honestly see anything wrong with that. I mean, my God, are you going to be upset because a movie is making fun of a company? For the people who are actually outraged at this movie, perhaps you should look into your mental state. You know, maybe get some therapy, because silly entertainment shouldn't be something that makes you angry. Just saying.